Hi, I'm Jan Young. Welcome to Living Towers. I'm the owner of our greenhouse here and the property that you're on today. So as you look at the greenhouse itself, there's a lot of other features that are unique when it comes to a greenhouse. Number one, the outside. The outsides are illuminate. You see that shiny metal? Well, the illuminate's not an actual screening and has holes for all of my bees and all of my friendly pets to come in and pollinate my foods, etc. So even though I'm growing in a greenhouse, I'm actually growing outside. Now I have a system I can grow and it's completely toxic free. Now we're cooking. I grow four to 5,000 plants in this small greenhouse. It's 2,200 square foot. And yet I use five to 10% of the water that it uses to grow on the ground. Living Towers is a two part system. Part of it is the commercial unit we'll see when we go inside and those are my hanging towers using the tower garden pots and that technology of growing. Hydroponics is a wonderful science. It allows you to grow without weeding, tilling, getting dirty. Utilizing that science will grow perhaps a third quicker, sometimes even more so, and you're growing strong, healthy plants. We do a Japanese style eggplant. One plant will literally gift you eight to 10 eggplant on a regular basis. I want some Swiss chard, I want some lettuces, I love my kale, give me some parsley and basil, dill, I'd like to grow some butternut squash or perhaps a tomato or cucumbers on the bottom. So you literally can plant all of your garden into one tower. Growing hydroponically is, is a phenomenal way to grow. So here we are with the same kind you've seen outside, variety of lettuces in a tower simply to show how lush a tower can look but also how lush your diet can look. You're going to take this spring mix and you're not going to pull it out and just have one head of lettuce. You're going to take your spring mix and you're going to leave two or three inches and you're going to cut it off. That lettuce is going to regrow. Then you're going to eat your red. You're going to cut it. It's regrowing going back to this. So literally by planting six or eight heads of lettuce, you're servicing a family of two to four, a continual salad bowl for months and months and months. After that point, when you're done, when something starts to look a little peaked, what are you going to do? You're going to seed some new seeds and you're going to pop it right in and you're going to plant your new garden one hole at a time. Seedlings, as I said, everything here is planted in what's called rock wool. Rock wool is a spun volcanic rock, so it is simply the material that holds the root systems of these plants. There's no nutritional value, but they're the container. Everything is planted from the original seed. Nothing starts as a plant. So every single seed here starts out in a piece of rock wool once it's soaked and seeds. These ones here are planted actually for a number of schools in the area. They're going to take these for projects for their children so that I'm growing one so the children know what the possibilities are so they're going to see what that end result they're going for. They're going to have a little bit of spring mix to look at and they're going to see the squash and the size it's going to be. If you look at the produce, you can tell its health by the look. But I'll tell you, you can also tell it by the taste. So when you think hydroponic growing, you think quality as opposed to quantity. We know how we plant in the ground. You get a packet of the seeds and you plant the entire row with the entire pack. We've grown here since October of last year. I plant one seed and get one plant. But when I plant my eggplant, I plan on having that plant for six months, producing continual production of eggplants. Every tower is different. Um, you're growing a tower according to your personality almost and what it is you eat on a regular basis. We need local eating. You have to have some control of your food supply. But we can grow produce and feed 50, 100, 200 families off of just doing nothing but a tower farm. This system here, the tower garden, these pots, my hanging pots are all within that tower garden system, is completely different. This is the only commercial food grade plastic system UV protected out there. Corporations don't ton donate tons of money to food bank systems. How about we set up their garden? But the tower gardens are always here available. The support system is available and even the seedlings. People need to have more control of their food source today. I'll be here, but they need to be growing in their backyard or know that they can do so.